I'm Curtis Keen from Santa Monica, California, and I race enduro for Factory Specialized. Last year was my first year, um, you know, dabbing in enduro, and it was quite fun to say the least. Um, I enjoyed all of it, and um, I definitely wanted to pursue it full time along with uh, Specialized, so we made a mutual decision to go for it full speed. It's been great so far. We're here in France, and look at this cool place we're at right now. You know, we're gonna ride our bike all week here, so I'm excited. Yeah, the Enduro 29 is a 160 mil travel bike. Uh, I have the RockShox Pike up front and the Monarch Plus in the rear. The rear is 155 mil, you know, with the big wheels, 29, big tires. It's a really, really capable uh, trail bike. You know, it likes to go fast. It's very confidence inspiring. So it's just uh, almost kind of feels like you're riding a downhill bike. So it's, it's really fun, you know, and also it's not a downhill bike. You can pedal up and it pedals up quite well. Very, very impressive. Um, the uh, Specialized Boys did a really good job on this one. It was an accomplishment on its own with the su super short chain stays, um, all new frame design. You know, it's, it's quite, quite light. So um, yeah, it's one of my favorite bikes to ride. The Enduro format is something that kind of changes venue to venue, country to country. Um, the French ones typically are all lift access and it's just multiple stages throughout the day. You only get one practice run. You know, some places are all lift access, some are some shuttle, some are all climbing, um, big day or, you know, one day format, two day format. So it's, it's still young. It's still, we're still trying to figure out like what works and it's going to really vary on location and providing the location, whatever works best for it. No, on the, an enduro, you have to use the same bike and the, the frame cannot change, suspension, your wheels, but anything else other than that, um, you're allowed to change tires, uh, grips, pedals, if you wanted to change a, a broken derailleur, you're allowed to. So most of all, it's, it's about the, the, the core of the bike has to stay the same. And if you were to break something, say you're like your wheel, um, you have to go to the official and get his approval. And if you do get approved, it's a, it's a time penalty. So it's, it's definitely part of the challenge is picking the equipment that is suited best for the terrain. That's going to last, but also it's fast and, um, uh, what you feel best on. So it's definitely, you know, like another challenge to the whole enduro racing scene. 